This. Okay, watch. See, this is just a ridiculous little touch. That's it. Blowing up all the way, and that's ice. That would that would freeze your finger off. First of all, and second of all, be very bad for fire. So apparently, you can overfill these if you get it uh, just right. You see that? That's supposed to be gas coming out, not uh, where is it? Not uh, vapor. You know, I got it up to 36. Like almost 37, and it was just way too much. I mean, you could feel some head space in there, but it's not much. Yeah, I thought that was the ATF. Look at this. Okay. I think now it's getting more better, more tame. Yeah, I think so. Now, what weight have we got here? Okay, that looks more reasonable. Okay, so yeah. We got all dated and everything. And uh, yeah, trying not to trip on anything. And some ramps and some uh, water and buckets, oil pans, kerosene, some more there. And uh, spare batteries. I think that one's completely beat. It says it's doing that, but I doubt it. This one might still have some life in it. Uh, that's uh, for like a car wash, for doing the <laughs> the waxing, and there's an electric uh, battery chainsaw rather, and uh, here are all the little chemicals, and you gotta be careful with these things so that they don't collide with the chain. It's very precarious, unfortunately. So yeah, this, we always have one or two of those spare. Let me move this out of the way a little bit more, that way's better, okay. And just empty boxes for any occasion. And uh, let's just close that up. Okay, these are just like spare, spare uh, oil that can be used for any purpose. And then some spare wood. And here's a, a big, big breaker bar. And then there's a smaller breaker bar. Both are very heavy and useful. And okay, that's the lawnmower thing. And then there's this, and there's the old pump there, still good. Working on those uh, pieces there, and uh, there's some old oil I gotta get rid of. And then there's some other stuff, I just can't think of what it is. The rain -X, yeah. And then there's an electric pump. Okay, yeah, here it is. This is what I was talking about, okay? Yeah, I don't know if it goes on this, or if it should go on something else, like with uh, uh, water attached to it, but either way, the way this thing goes, see this is like a hand, a glove thing, and you put it on your hand, but this thing goes on the end of a stick, and the way the mop thing bucket works is, you just stick it in there, that's literally how you squeeze it out, and as you squeeze it, as you push it in, the angles change, and then it squeezes it, see like it's squeezing my hand, I've never tested it out, and I don't know if it's too old and dry rotted, but anyways, I can't wait to test that out. But it's a mop, but it could also be used to dry your car. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna test this out. That's off, okay. So, there should never be any gasoline in there, because I only use propane. Okay, so off, on. I believe that means when it's running, you turn it on, but anyway, I'll have to read that again. But anyways, yeah. The trickiest part is, is refilling these. It's legal as long as you don't transport them on any public road afterwards. There's the chainsaw. And yeah, everything's doing pretty good. Only, only 10 pounds of propane left in this one. I believe it's a 30 or 35 pound tank. So yeah, I'm draining it out and filling these, these other little ones before I go and get it filled for the season. And that's it.